Woke liberals realizing that Donald Trump is in fact their president. <laughs> Let's get straight into it. Stop. Stop. Damn. <laughs> well. <laughs> See, that's why I'm recording. Because the cuts ain't got Acting like a straight up child, bruv. And it's always this haircut too, right? Like I can almost tell who you're voting for just by the haircut. You voted for Donald Trump. I will never not know that about you. And that something we'll both have to live with. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. I will be leaving the country and my dad will be staying blocked after this election. See you never. Fuck Adios, it. honey. What country is going to be better than the United States? Please entertain me. Bye, bitch. This is all break, right? Like, like we're just going to wake up tomorrow morning and everything's going to go back to the way it, like it'll all, it'll be a psych. <laughs> <laughs> like it all, it all in you and if you, 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 you. <laughs> Honey, it's not a dream. You know what I mean? It, it is what it is. And it's just the next four years. Buckle up. You'll be all right. It'll be like a really bad dream. And none of this will have ever happen. Right? Like, it'll be like the first time. And then we're all going to pull through fine in four years. Correct? Please? Someone tell me. I can tell you one thing right now. Marriage is the farthest thing from on the table currently. So they really, they screwed the pooch on that one if they thought. Oh, why is marriage so far away? What does Donald Trump being president have anything to do with you getting married? Like, what? That any of this was going to actually help with the whole family and kids department and, and lowering birth rates? Because that, no, nah, not -uh, not even any semblance. Actually, of aren't conservative people probably having more children than people that are liberal? Like, liberal people aren't getting married. They're having kids out of wedlock creating a lot of single moms, fatherless homes. And as we know, there's a lot of degeneracy in fatherless homes, chat thoughts I had or hope for that is completely going to be a no thanks for me, love. Do you think I would ever even dare bring a child into this country now? It was rough before. Now? No. That's cute. And the men don't even give me, no, don't even give me start about dating to think. I was still entertaining a few moderates here and there sometimes. No, honey, no. Not even close. That's honey, you better keep entertaining. You're going to be alone with a bunch of cats. It's never goodbye. No, I'm about to say something. Bro, like I said, it's always the grandma glasses and that cut, bruv. But wait, there's more. And some of y'all are gonna get real mad at me, but honestly, at this point. <laughs> Who I cares? I'm a grown up wearing a Sesame Street shirt. Take me serious. I just don't care. Um, I genuinely hope an asteroid hits uh, the United States of America. I have given up on humanity in this country. I think it'd be better if, honestly, we were just all gone. I think we should just have another, like, mass extinction. It's such a nihilistic view of Earth. Just because somebody's not president, you think that everybody should be extinct? What is that? Even if Kamala won, I wouldn't be that mad. Like, I wouldn't be like, we need to end it. Everyone needs to be extinct. Like, dude, it is what it is. You win some and you lose. It's only four years. Like, dude, come on. I think that would really solve everybody's problems. Because I... I I just kind of am done. I don't think we, people, some people just can't come back from this, bro. Is it that bad? I think we just need to start over. Just wipe it out, start over. That's how God would do it. That's how God would do it, just saying. I know the dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt in an accident. Have you ever found yourself involved in a personal injury case? As an image consultant, I meet a lot of clients who are actually recovering from all sorts of injuries, from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was actually surprised to see at how many people lose their personal injury cases, which is why I want to talk about Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they've won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, 
they're going to fight for the money that you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan solidified verdicts in Florida for $12 million and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is, it's all free unless you win your case. Now, if you've also been the victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi, found in the description below, where you can start your free claim today. Me and my family are leaving. Um, just talked to my mom about it. Back, we're we're leaving. Back. We're seeking an asylum somewhere else. But I just want to say this. Seeking asylum somewhere else? <laughs> You live in the greatest first world country. <laughs> go ahead. Where are you going to go? In the states where the votes matter the most, 69% of white women in Pennsylvania voted for Donald Trump. Did you say 69? Um, <clears throat> and then I believe it was like 67 or 68% of white women voted for Donald Trump in like Michigan. And all the other swing states where it really mattered, white women came in, turned up for Donald Trump. Black people, hear me and hear me well. This is not going to work out for us. It's not. I'm leaving. I'm not staying for the handmaid's tale. I'm not. And not only that, our rights are gone as we know it. So. What? How about new? My wife is half black. And she doesn't feel this way at all. I I'm wondering where the rights are going away. Like Cass is living her best life right now. Donald Trump literally said he wanted to take it back to a time specifically where black people's votes didn't matter. They even tried to take that shit to the Supreme Court and try to get Kamala removed from the race. Oh, well, Kamala, you know, she she should have helped me with my, my child support. How, how, well, you know, hey, she didn't win. Congratulations on that part. But you do understand that with no abortion rights... You about to be the pappy. So, you know what? If this is what y'all wanted, I'm happy for you, is it Is it all about abortion? Is that, like, the main thing that I guess the woke liberals are, like, super mad about, that they can't abort a baby? Just don't, like, have protected sex. It's, 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 it's really easy to get around that. Or, Chad, am I disillusioned here? Am I crazy for thinking that? I'm like, you could just either be abstinent or practice safe sex. Like, I don't know. That seems to be a pretty good solution to me, yeah? I did it growing up. America, I'm happy that y'all got the results that y'all wanted since he won the way that he won. I'm happy y'all got what y'all wanted, but I am leaving. You know what they say, if you don't like it, you can leave. And baby, you ain't got to worry about me. You ain't got to worry about me. I was just walking down the street to go get my medication. What I say about the haircut, bro? <laughs> they all walk into the barber shop and say, I want the number four, please. <laughs> What is that? Shots fired! God! I think because I'm out and I need it for today. <laughs> and I saw a woman walking her two kids. And she had this look on her face. <laughs> and I looked at her, we made eye contact, and we both kind of nodded. <laughs> like we were both <laughs> just devastated. <laughs> and you could just tell in her, in her eyes. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> Stupid. What's going on? Did she chew her fingernails? Oof, ick for me. I can't believe this country did this again. <laughs> Why did I let myself have hope? <laughs> bro, what happened to this whole participation trophy generation, bro? Sometimes you gotta take the L. <laughs> I've been taking L since I was born. My name's Levi. I got an L on my birth certificate, dude. Just take the L. It's all good. I just texted my best friend. My best friend of 14 years. Mm. Literally half of my life. I'm 28. And I asked them who they voted for. Why would you ask that? They said Donald Trump. And they said, I'm assuming you voted the opposite. And I said, yes. <laughs> And then my friend texted me and said, will you still be my friend? I love it, dude. You, you can't do it. All from a political affiliation. You just can't be somebody's friend. To me, this is so dumb. Stupid. I don't care who you voted for, bro. 
it, it whatever. I think I think these elections are mainly just meant to divide us. It's a bipartisan system. There's only two options really. If it was a fair if it was a fair shot, they'd give you like four options. There's only two. I think it's just meant to divide. And if you're buying into this ideology that if somebody voted for somebody else, you can't even be friends with them. You can't even be affiliations with them. It's like one of my best friends voted for Kamala. I, dude, it is what it is. He's still one of my boys. I don't care. Half of my life. You can you can still be friends with her. <laughs> I don't I don't get this. You can still be friends with her. You don't have to cut off a relationship just because somebody voted for Trump. She was my best friend. Chat, let me know. Is that childish? To me, that's childish, bruv. I don't even think you fucking assholes realize what you did. Now because you elected Trump in office, I gotta go and spend fucking less for gas, less at groceries, have a savings account that my kids can actually be proud of. We could actually do something with it. I don't know. Maybe like a vacation to Florida or something. Who knows? Now I gotta get used to a strong economy, secure borders, no new wars. What kind of shit is that? Make America great again. It is not over for Kamala. Okay. And all of you celebrating a Trump victory before the votes or even fully counted, may I remind you that a lot can change at the last minute. Okay. And even if we do fail to win the presidency for Kamala, after all the work I've done for white dudes for Kamala over the last few months, we will return in 2028. Kamala 2028 will be the greatest political comeback the world has ever seen. Not just America, new? but the world. <laughs> And I firmly believe that Kamala is still the best person in the whole of the United States to be the president of this country. And if we band together now... I mean, look, she did, she did a good job becoming the DA, right? But, like, just hearing her speak is like nails on a chalkboard. I was a middle-class child. I, I know what it's like to eat potatoes. I'm like, I just never really got a sense of confidence from her she didn't exude competency and confidence which is you know really i think what you should look for in a leader that's just me though if we pull back some of those white dudes who went for trump this time by growing the white dudes for harris campaign we can make a permanent change we can put put the maga crowd away once and for all <laughs> and i'm dispirited <laughs> I am discouraged by what has happened, but we can't just give up. We can't just stop now. I mean, that's what people do when they lose. Shots fired. You have to give up. And, and, and didn't Kamala already concede that she lost? Dude, it's all good. It's only four years, bro. Come on. It's so close. It was so close. It was so close. Yeah. She lost. There's just so much hate in this country. Bro, I got no hate. I got no hate for Kamala. I got no hate for anybody that voted blue, Democrat, Republican. I think we're all people at the end of the day. And I believe your morals, your ethics, and your values make you the person that you are, not your political affiliation. So much hate and misinformation from Elon. And this... We've got to fight back. We've got to fight back. Kamala 2028. We're coming back. Do your best, I guess. Please! Doing stuff in the UK now? What is this all about? I want to see stuff in the US. Um, it's crazy how widespread our our political landscape right. is, though. Uh, it's, dude, it's. I'm telling you, bro. It's the starter pack, the bull nose ring, the crazy cut. I have lost two friends today because of this election. Not see like, that, dude. That is immature. Losing friends because we had a difference of opinion, but because they're dead. No, I don't think y'all get it. What? I just woke up and I found out that the big motherfucking orange 
stupid Oompa Loompa motherfucking ass is back in office. I broke <laughs> up with my boyfriend last night because he told me he regrets meeting me because I spoke about how I should have my rights. And then I have to go plan a Disney trip. <laughs> Should be fun. Should be graceful. No, wrong. My family has been in a war for the past, like, two weeks with each other. We're not on good terms. None of us are happy. Okay? And let alone, I have to sit for the next hour with my sister and her toxic-ass motherfucking boyfriend. You think I'm doing okay? Dude, it's just a sign of immaturity. If you're going to let a political party divide your family, it's just low-intelligence activities right there, bro. Hey, you really think I'm doing okay? Oh, oh, and I'm hungover. And I'm hungover. Let's just get that. There you go. Adulting at its finest right there. Good good thing she has kids. She's somebody's mom right there, gents. Um, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I just don't see why you let a political affiliation really divide you and your friend group and your family. To me, that's just childish, bro. By my country right now. And it's so frustrating. I don't even know what to say right now. I just hope the price of milk goes down. <laughs> I want a carton of eggs not to cost $9. We tried, okay, to everyone from other countries that are saying America failed. We tried. The system is inherently flawed, and we tried. And to mm -hmm. anybody who follows me on TikTok, if you are happy about the results of the election, unfollow me right now. Get off my page. <laughs> Do not Anybody that disagrees with me, follow me. <laughs> Dude, I actually promote. Like, I read a comment today. Somebody was like, Levi, I actually disagree with that point. I'm like, great. I love it. It's okay to agree to disagree. We can have different viewpoints and still be, like, cordial with each other. What happened to those days? You don't have to agree with everything else somebody thinks just to be their friend or an acquaintance. It's ridiculous to me. Talk to me. I don't care if I've known you for years. I do not want to talk to you ever again. The fact that you would purposefully vote for somebody who wants to take away my rights as a woman is that a thing chad am i stupid i don't remember him talking about now i didn't follow it a lot i don't remember him talking about anything of taking women's rights away don't ever talk to me again quick question so does anybody know how to find or hire a hitman or woman um, we don't want to be sexist. So, but I think we could pull this off collectively. If you want to chip in DM. Isn't that highly illegal? Like extremely illegal? Forgive me for being a little emotional here, but what the fuck is going on? People in the future are going to look back at this time and they're going to be like, clean your room. What the fuck? What the fuck happened? Because we were progressing. When Obama got elected, I really feel like we were, we were progressing. We were going in the right motherfucking direction. But then Trump comes in and he gives a voice to the voiceless. He gives a voice to the criminals, to the racists, to the white motherfuckers who want to be back on top. I don't want to touch another man with a 10-foot motherfucking pole. Ladies, where are we going? For B movement for real. Fuck men. Fuck all of you. And fuck you ugly dumb bitches who voted for him too. You guys are a piece of shit. Oh my god. What what is up with the women now just saying they won't touch men, they don't want anything to do with men? Bro, I ain't got nothing to do with this. <laughs> what is going on? When I say I mean this in the most disrespectful, mean way I can even say it, but okay. if you voted for Donald Trump, mm -hmm. then you don't deserve any part of my life. Um, you don't deserve to be part of my children's life, my husband's life, uh, my extended family's life. Thank God I don't want to be. Dodged a bullet with that one, honey. Dodged a complete bullet. I can't. I can't do this anymore. I'm literally sick. I'm literally sick to my stomach. What has happened to America? What is it's a bull nose ring, bro. I'm telling you, it's a starter pack, bro happened to democracy what has happened to freedom do you not feel free you have a disco ball hanging from your ceiling you don't feel free this is a message to anyone who follows me if you voted for trump unfollow me and block me if you didn't vote unfollow me and block me the fact that it's this close means i've lost all hope in the american people 
Like, it should not be this close. Why would anyone vote for this person? He's so evil. He's so demented. I... He wants to lower taxes. <laughs> is that demented? Well, it's not perfect. We all know that. We all know that. She is not a convicted felon, rapist, crazy, fascist, dictator, psycho. I think it's so ironic how liberal women and women who voted for Kamala are saying that for the next four years, they're not going to sleep with another man. I find it so ironic <laughs> because real. at least then you won't need an abortion. <laughs> Shots fired! Dude, that's what I'm saying, but there's so many other ways to get around. Like, this, this whole abortion thing, like... I think there's always exceptions to the rule. Loki, does somebody want beef jerky? Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. I think there's always exceptions to the rules, but like, ladies, you're staying away from men. Okay, well, I mean, I guess if that's your prerogative, I just don't see the whole thing of like, why you feel like you should stay away from men. Like, what is that? I, I just, I don't think I can understand it of why they think that's the best course of action is just staying away from men. I want to show y'all, here, here's another trend. Like, look at this, dude. Women are shaving their heads. What is going on? Shaving her head because Trump won. Yeah, you're really sticking it to the man on that one. <laughs> Shaving your head to look like a cue ball. You're really, you're really doing it, honey. Good for you. Good for you. Like, what is even going on, bruv? Um, let's see. I had some other ones here. There's, it's, it's insane how many clips there are. That none of you weirdos can. There's so many clips on freaking tiktok of just women going nuts the view they went crazy um where's this clip i wanted to show you guys it's this chick straight up screaming um let's see if i can't find it oh here it is <laughs> like what is this bro i'm sorry no 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 <laughs> <laughs> dude uh, chat i feel like most of us we love the ladies we love everybody around here man as long as you don't hurt people do what you want to do bro but like this this is wild to me that they're freaking out this much like Cass and i woke up it's like all right it's another day let's go back to the gym not much has really changed i just i don't get it man but i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode don't forget to like comment subscribe go cop the ebook the four pillars of personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men i'll see you guys tomorrow man peace